Hello and welcome. This is Shreya and you are watching Peace News International. Starting with the headlines. An event organized for UN members on the theme of being one world family. BK Jayanti Didi, BK Gayatri and BK Sabita attended the event. The World Peace Conference was organized at the House of Parliament in London. Spiritual leader BK Morin was especially invited. BK sister Silvorine met Mr. Abhishek Singh, the Indian ambassador to Venezuela, and discussed about Raj Yoga meditation. 24 senior officials of the administrator wing reached Russia. Director of Moscow BK Sudhadidi and senior brother BK Vijay welcomed them. Now the news in detail. An event organized for the UN members on the theme of being one world family. This conversation includes two panelists, Her Excellency Ruchira Kamboj, the permanent representatives of India to the UN, and BK Jayanti Vidi, the additional head of Ramakumaris. And it was moderated by Ramu Damudran, the first chief of United Nations Academic Impact. BK Gayatri and BK Sabita were also present in this event. There were close to 60 members gathered for the conversation with representatives from permanent missions in Argentina, Guana and Mauritius. Other participants included UN staff, NGOs and New York community members. The dialogue touched different aspects of humanity and spirit. Deep questions were posed by the audience. Sister Jayanti focused on the spiritual perspective of the theme, indicating that it is our spiritual bond that allows us to rise above the physical and come together as one family. As well, Ambassador Ruchira Kamboj drew attention to the need to inspire youth and ignite this inner light amongst everyone. The Brahma Kumaris have often talked about very eloquently about the self-transformation of individuals. From your experience working with the United Nations and in Geneva, do you think it's possible to have a self-transformation of organizations as well? Um, for me, transformation then means that you're able to transform the negative into the pure and positive. Because I believe that the being that we are is actually, when it begins its journey, it's completely pure and wholesome and very beautiful. It's filled with truth. And then through our journey, we tend to accumulate dust and debris along the way. And so the process of self-transformation is to remove that and come back to that original state of being. And so I see how I can speak for our own organization. Um, the founder was Man Brahma Baba, and when he passed on by constitution now, all our leaders are women. Uh, we have brothers, and so we have men very much as part of our organization. But it's always women who head the organization, and there are good reasons for that also. But um, what I found was that Daddy Prakash Muni, who visited the UN several times, and then after her, Daddy Jan He, who came many, many times yet, um, their qualities of integrity and honesty and commitment and peace and respect for all, making themselves available for all, all of these qualities, plus a lot more that I haven't listed, but they embodied these qualities. And I'm sure that there are many around this room um, who did meet them and can validate what I'm saying. And so because that one leader represented the organization and embodied these qualities, that set the culture of the whole organization. And that continues to today. So I know for a fact that of organizations where they have leadership that has those qualities, definitely that process of transformation becomes an example for everyone. You see, human beings say abstract is wonderful, but it's only when you see somebody in reality and they demonstrate something, they become a role model, then you'll say that, yes, this works, and I as a human being can do the same. 
And so I think that definitely organizations can also follow in that way. I definitely agree with peace, harmony, unity. But I was thinking, as a teacher educator, we also need to inspire children. And what are we doing in terms of schools and uh, how to inspire, how to instill that and ignite that fire among children? Is the United Nations going to and Brahmakumari is going to take an active role in that? No, I think you're absolutely right. And uh, certainly, uh, if you wish to be forward looking, you have to look at the youth and uh, instill the right values, the very values that we're all talking about in this room. And certainly, yes, I think the United Nations uh, education is a topic that comes up. It is also a goal. Uh, and individually, nations are looking to their own systems to see that, you know, youth carry the ideals and value system forward. What emerged from this conversation that it is the individual that needs to change and create a critical mass for transformation in our world. I'm sure all of us, each one of you are leaving today uh, with this conviction that we are going to advocate for a better world even more. So we stand by you. The World Peace Conference was organized by the Magna Carta World Peace and Sustainability Foundation of London at the House of Parliament in London on the topic Creating World Peace and Sustainability, in which spiritual leader Sister Maureen from Global Corporation House London, Sister Richelle and Dr. Deepak Harke from India were especially invited. In this conference, representatives of many countries, including London's Member of Parliament Catherine Fletcher, expressed their views. Also, Sister Maureen informed everyone about the activities of the organization and invited them to visit to the Global Corporation House in London. BK Sister Silverine, the coordinator of Brava Kumaris in Venezuela, had a visit to Indian Embassy of Venezuela, where she met Mr. Abhishek Singh, the Indian Ambassador, and discussed with them about the spiritual knowledge and Raj Yoga meditation. Mr. Abhishek expressed his curiosity about the meditation and also expressed his desire to experience it. Along with this, he also praised the work of Brahma Kumari's organization and said that he and his wife listened to the spiritual classes of senior speakers of Brahma Kumari's. 24 senior officials of Brahma Kumari's administrator wing under Raj Yoga Education and Research Foundation reached Russia from India, where they were warmly welcomed by Director of Moscow B.K. Sudhadidi senior brother B.K. Vijay and many Brahma Kumaris members of Russian origin. This divine family who came to Russia from India got a chance to know about the culture, important places and creative talents of Russian closely. See some special glimpse of it. Dr. Alexei from Moscow visited to Press City in Belarus to conduct a lecture to the medical professionals and also to meet the BK family. Brother Alexei delivered a lecture on the theme facing the negativity and aggression through the practice of Raj Yoga. He also shared his invaluable experience with BK family and also emphasized the importance of purity in his classes. A retreat on arts and meditation was organized at Diamond Retreat House in Palmar, Mauritius. Sixty souls were mobilized for this retreat, including special guests from Reunion Island, Rodericks Island, Mauritius and India, respectively. The organizing team from Reunion and Mauritius, which includes Sister Cecile, Sundari and Oroa, proposed an original program in French. This was supported by Sister Sangeeta, Rekha, and Sahita from Mauritius. Sister Niru from the Center of Lark and Palmar inaugurated and closed this program. This five-day retreat was majorly dedicated to workshops and cultural expressions which included spiritual activities, artistic testimonies, the philosophy of Raj Yoga and creative silence meditations at sunrise with a view of the Indian Ocean. 
all souls took the shower of love and peace from the Supreme Being and were rocked by the waves of the rising sun. A one-day retreat was held at Brahma Kumaris Los Angeles with BK Usha Didi from Mount Abu. About 150 people from different areas of Southern California attended the retreat. Los Angeles Center Coordinator BK Gita Didi organized this beautiful retreat. BK Usha Didi started with the topic of how to deepen my meditation in the morning session and then there was a reflective meditation session conducted by Sister Sneha. After this, there was a Q&A session in which lots of questions were answered to the audience, as well as the questions on the Zoom. And in the evening session, BK Usha Didi shared her views on how to serve through mind effectively. Then leads everyone to a powerful meditation session. Along with that, a small celebration for mothers was conducted, in which 94 mothers were honored with Tila and pampered with lots of gifts, sweets and blessings. A special memorial program was organized to honor the legacy of Sister Chandru's dedication to world service and her love for God and the BK family. Many seniors joined in person and through Zoom. Mohini Didi, New York. Usha Didi, Mount Abu. Sister Denise, France. Geeta Didi, Los Angeles. BK Hansa, Sacramento. BK Kusum, Milpitas and other BK members gave their heartfelt tribute to Chandru Didi. All the participants from the interfaith community came to the program which made the gathering lively and meaningful. BK Usha Didi Mount Abu shared memories of her taking the seven-day course from Chandru Didi. Indu Mata Usha Didi's mother also shared her memories of the initial days in Africa. Thank you for watching our broadcast today. We hope that you found our coverage informative and valuable. Join us again next time for more news and updates on events around the world. Until then, take care and goodbye.